everyone. Welcome to Faith at Home. My name is Leah, and today we are going to talk about an old man named Abram and the stars and his family. So when Abram was an old man, 75 years old, God told him, go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I'll show you. I will make you into a great nation and I'll bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord told him. But 10 years later, when Abram was 85, he still had no kids. And he was getting worried about this. But God told him, don't worry, Abram. God took him outside and said, look up at the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, so your offspring shall be. And I love that Bible verse because it reminds me that God blesses us through family and friends. And I've gathered some family and friends here today, and I want you guys to think about a time when you felt very happy, peaceful, content. And I was wondering if any of you could share with us a time that you felt happy and peaceful and content. Who was there with you? And who, what were you celebrating? Where were you? Lakin, did you have something? that you wanted to talk about? Um, one that time I felt happy and content was a few years back. I was with my Nana and Papa at the apple orchard having fun. And there was apple picking, so it was a little wet, but me and my brother went, and my Nana and Papa went apple picking up in the trees. And we climbed so high, and it was really fun. The apples were so good. We got like a, we got, we, got, we went to a food truck, we picked a pumpkin. And there was one time I felt happy because I had, because I, I don't get to see my Nana and Papa as much now as I used to. So one of the times that reminds me that, um, one of the times that now I feel so grateful for that I got to spend a lot of time with them before I, Corona happened. Oh. Thanks for sharing that. Do you remember that day too, Weston? Yeah. yeah. Do you have similar memories of it? Anybody else have a time they would like to share when they felt really happy and peaceful? Oh, Charlie. Uh, one time that I felt happy and content was when my brother Joe was born. I, I remember being in the car with my dad and then my dad got a call from my mom saying that she had Joe and then he was, he was probably driving kind of crazily to the hospital to meet him. Um, he was just so excited that he had two kids and that, and it was really happy for me because when I got in there, I, I, had, um, I had picked out this ball, like a baby toy for him, and then I was singing him Old MacDonald and I handed him the ball <laughs> and it was fun. Well, we're gonna do a meditation right now and we're gonna get in star pose to think about Abraham. And we are gonna think about somebody who we love, a time when we were really happy. And I just, when we do this meditation, I want you to think of that person or those people like Nana and Papa who love you so much. And I just want you to imagine them smiling at you when we do this meditation. Can you guys stand up with me? And get, Dan, you can kind of pan around the video. We're gonna stretch and feel that love inside of us. And as you breathe in, imagine that happy time. And breathe out. Imagine those loving faces smiling at you. Breathe in. Do that two more times. Happiness, peace. Shh. 
joy, a contentment. Great, shake it out a little bit because now that was the easy star pose and we are going to try two oh. difficult star poses. This is why I needed kids. I can't do this. All right, everybody. I can. Let's try these. So you're going to go into what's called a side plank, or you can keep one leg down and reach your arms and oh, legs doing it. like stars. <laughs> Whoa. I did it for like three seconds. <laughs> really, really? Yeah. And in yoga, you know, they always make you do both sides. Pretty good. So let's I can do it more than a couple. Joe, that's amazing. <laughs> Joe's Let's the try most this other side. <clears throat> well, Joe's probably the most flexible here. Yeah. yeah. I do gymnastics, but I can do a back yeah. bend, so I think otherwise. Okay, can you put your foot in your mouth? I'm better at I the can. other side. <laughs> yep. And I probably could, but Let's I don't Let's try the to. last star pose before oh, we put any feet in mouth. my toes to something. <laughs> no. Good memories. I thought right. could. So our last star pose, we are going to start on our hands and knees, like and three. we're going to turn our bodies over. Open up like a five pointed star. Woo! Nicely done. And see if your other arm is as strong. Push up. Oh, this is easy. Falling star. Falling stars. All right, everyone. Would you pray with me, please? That's a shooting star. Dear God, we thank you for the blessings of family and friends. Amen. 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 That's a wrap.